Hello, and welcome back to Trials Fusion. We get to see the intro this time. Uh, this is my second stream of Trials Fusion. Again, trying to get through this a little bit quicker than I did the uh, previous Trials games. And last time, we got a pretty good chunk done. It's 58% complete. Wow. Uh, skill showcase expert. Plan. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 worlds to go. We did 5 of them last time, so considering that they are going to continue getting harder... It's probably optimistic to say we'll get this done in three streams. I'm, I'm gonna guess four. But uh, we are done with the easy and medium tracks, and we're now up to the hard tracks. So, let's, say, let's see how these go. I don't think I'm gonna be getting gold on every single level anymore. Maybe I will. If I'm close enough, then I'll still go for it. Here's our final... Didn't I do this? I could swear I did this. Yeah, bunny hop. Did I do it? I hope I didn't lose progress somehow. Boy, between this and Blur, I'm playing a lot of a uh, lot of Room Room games. Also, still meaning to start Pokemon Crystal Clear, but uh, I just I wasn't feeling up to it today. And I'm also in the middle of uh, I'm in the middle of an Archipelago run with some friends, where I'm trying out uh, Pokemon Red and Blue, which is interesting, because it's not just uh, I tried to I tried a Battle Network run on Archipelago. And that was essentially just, uh, like, the items on the ground around the world. That was kind of lame. Okay, well, that's another way I could do it. Whereas Pokemon, thankfully, has settings so that you can make it so that, like, every Pokedex entry is a check. Or every, every trainer is a check. Which I did both of those. Because it's kind of lame to do a, uh, do a, like collect everything game like Pokemon or Battle Network where the checks aren't for collecting things Landing correctly is important. Multiple jumps can be tricky. The idea is to land correctly. Rear wheel first. I I know I did this. Why am I doing it again? Bizarre. Uh, another thing that's new is that it was pointed out to me, just before this stream, how, like, insane the amount of ads YouTube has been putting on my videos is. Because I've been just letting YouTube do, like, the default settings, the balanced settings. But apparently the balanced settings are, like, an ad break every 10 or 15 minutes. Which, in live streams of this length, is an insane amount of interruption. So, since I don't think there's any way to automate it, I'm now going to have to go back. I will probably have to go back through all, all of our videos and manually set it to like, I don't know, one every half hour maybe. If that's a balance setting, I hate to see what the aggressive setting is. Sorry, I hope you weren't getting double game audio. I just, I forgot to mute my TV. I just realized. Alright, still not being allowed to use my unicorn or my panda. Just the roach and the pit viper. And the donkey, but no, no, no one wants to use the donkey.
Six rocks under. Rapids Extreme Run. Welcome to Warp Zone 3. This was the game I was thinking of when I was playing Blur and, and saying how they have, like, challenges per level. They don't. It's not really the same thing. Because in Blur, all of the, uh, all the race challenges are the same. It's always a uh, series of gates, and it's a fan target. So it's not like they have uh, unique challenges on each course. But it would be cool. I'd like this conceptually, the idea of having, like, multiple challenges to aim for on each level. I think the challenges are a little tougher than I would like in this game. I don't really want to go, like, hunting around the level for secrets or anything, but, uh... Why am I failing that? That is an easy jump. I shouldn't be failing that. The idea is cool. Unfortunately, I don't think it necessarily returns in uh, in the next game. I watched a little bit of uh, Jack Patillo play Trials Rising, the one after this one. And uh, they don't have... They don't have per level challenges like this game does. Rather, it's uh, it's it's kind of like the it's kind of like the the boss demands in Blur, whereas you just have a, a set of challenges that you're constantly attempting, and once you meet them, there's someone like, "Hey, you're pretty cool. You should uh, you should get these levels or some such." That's my understanding of it. I'm not doing well at it. I guess it's a hard level, granted, but... Man, this doesn't seem like it should be giving me trouble. Okay, that's a big jump. That that might give me a little bit of trouble. That, that's worth a, re a second attempt. Oh, they got bombs. There's explosives. This needs a bunny hop. Oh, why did I reset? I made it! Okay, good. That made things easier. Yes. I don't know if she was about to ask, but my answer is yes. I mentioned this to the previous stream. I do hope the next game doesn't try to do this like story thing quite as hard because it's 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 a little weird for trials. I guess it could work, but man, it just doesn't feel like the kind of game that needs that. Or if you're going to tell a, a story in trials, do it like uh, do it like Trials of the Blood Dragon. Have like cutscenes or something. Not like exposition that's trying to happen in the middle of these difficult motorcycle sections. Because I haven't paid attention to anything that's happened. I've been too busy, like, riding. They should have, uh... They should have this game cross over with Metal Gear, because then you could have Raiden, Raiden. This is a Mortal Kombat character pronounced Raiden for some reason. I don't know why that is. Hold on, that was a silver. I'm not going to go for gold, I'm just curious what I needed. Uh, five faults, 140. So, I, I was... Setting faults aside, I was still a whole minute too slow. Do I dare? Let's do the donkey, let's do it once for the memes.
Look, look, it's so tiny. Oh, well, okay, I guess I don't get to hear her her little spiel, because I was I, I had to reset. What was her thoughts? I don't know. I, I'm in the middle of a motorcycle game. Makes it kind of difficult. I changed my mind. Forget the donkey. I hate the donkey. Oh, there's a reason this is a joke vehicle. That should have been a big jump. As much as I made fun of the soundtrack in the previous Trials game, I did remember the tracks. This feels a little more, like, generic. It just kind of sounds like YouTube filler music. Temperature in the desert today is... I was hoping maybe this was a squirrel pit. It wasn't. Oh, I got a bunny hop. That's a that's a big one. The other day, for no particular reason, I looked at what uh, Steam games I was close to having all achievements in. And apparently I left off Octodad with like one achievement short of perfection. I don't remember ever like actively going for achievements in that game, so I guess Jack and I were just really good, like... We're way better at silly octopus game than we thought we were. I also don't think we ever did a video on that. We just, uh... That was something we just played together off-stream. Way back in the day. Unlock the Experts Club. Solar panels are not to be used for powering your portable doomsday devices. They missed. I think I did get... No, I haven't played this off-stream. I got all, all golds up to here on-stream, so... Also, the levels have been kind of, uh... Kind of samey so far. I'm hoping that we get more variety, as opposed to everything being this, like, uh... This future tech facility. It's cool, but it, I would like it for it to be, like, just one of the areas of the game, not the entire game. I guess it's just, it's like, robo-tech facilities in a variety of environments, but... Like, it's kind of still always a Robotech facility. The more I play this, I think I'm, I'm am leaning a little bit more towards Trials Evolution as a, a first game for a Trials player. Oh, another game that, uh, so other games that I am close to having all achievements in, but I'm not there yet, are, uh, apparently I got, like, all but two in Magic 2014, which is, like, the first Magic the Gathering game on Steam, I think. So I could put in a grind to get, like, those last two achievements in that. 
And then the other one is Sonic Adventure DX, which I'm missing two achievements in, but that's probably illegitimate because I got a bunch of them due to some kind of, like, bug or a mod or something when we did the Sonic uh, multiplayer stream. And the last two achievements that I would need in it are for, like, uh, basically 100%ing the game, and then 100%ing the game again as Metal Sonic, who is the reward for 100%ing the game. So that's not something that I can just, like, knock out. That would be a whole, uh, that'd be a whole thing if I tried to do that. And I don't know that I ever will. I have 100%ed Sonic Adventure 1 once before on the, uh, on the GameCube. It sucked. I don't think I want to do it, like, two more times. Especially for Steam achievements, which I... I don't really take that seriously. Because, like, everybody's got, you know, 500 Steam games. You're never going to get all of them. It kind of kills the completionist blood in me to know that, like, 99% of my Steam library is never going to be something I, I go for achievements in anyway. as opposed to, like, retro achievements, where I don't start a game unless I'm planning to 100% it. What is this jump? Why am I having so much trouble with this? I mean, granted, it's not an easy jump, but man... Okay, I gotta lean forward, back, and then forward. I gotta I got bunny hop, but... Not only do I have to bunny hop, I'm losing speed on the start of the ramp. Maybe I should back up. But how much should I back up? Uh, okay. Yep, that worked. Damn it. I don't think I like the Viper. Just get in there. Is this part of the plot? Was I supposed to sink this? I don't know, Evolution felt like just a little more appropriate for this series, because it was just like a bunch of dumb idiots messing around in the post-apocalypse. Did I unlock all of these? No, I don't have medals in them. Whatever. I'm, I'm still confused by the fact that I'm sure I did that, uh, I'm sure I did that training program last stream. Alright, good start. What's back here? Anything cool? No? Just... Okay, just ice. Oh no, oh no, get up, get up, get up, get up. Okay, we're good. Oh, no, no, no. Missed it. Missed it. No, I'm falling. I'm going back. Alright, take two. Oh, what's this jump? All right. This is one of those bunny hops that I don't like. So I start forward, lean back, and then forward. Almost. That was almost it. 
I feel like, like, I've done this so many times, I've done the hardest levels in the previous Trials games, and I still don't feel like I fully understand the bunny hop motion. All this time later, like, most of the time, my rear wheel just, like, doesn't leave the ground, it just kind of falls. Maybe I'm just out of practice. Maybe the me that, that did, like, Inferno would be able to do this no problem. But the current me is going to get to, like, 50 faults on this one stupid jump. Oh, wait, 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 here we go. The Forbidden Zone. It's not even that it's just like a story in Trials, which is already weird enough. It's not a particularly deep story, by the sound of it. It's just kind of, you know, robots have taken over. Fleshy's bad. AI dangerous. We got another bunny hop. Is this why Jack is the only p person who, like, streams Trials? Because he's the only person who's good at it? Not, not our Jack, uh, Jack Patillo. I'm sure there's other, like, trial streamers, that's just the one that I'm familiar with. The dude in, uh... There's, like, a dude in Trials Rising, the one after this one, that looks just like Jack Patillo, but it's not him. I guess it's some dude in Finland. Is the uh, basis for, uh, the tutorial buddy dude in Trials Rising. Uh, Jack Patillo did do a voice in, uh, Trials of the Blood Dragon. He was like a, a voice on a phone in a cutscene, which is neat. It's cool that, uh, like, the pool of people who play these games, the pool of them who do them as, like, content creators is so small that, uh, like, Ubisoft really get, they, they have a small pool to draw from when they're, like, doing hand, you know, handouts or promotions or their uh they invited Jack to the the studio to uh test play Trials Rising before that came out. It's cool to ha it's cool to follow a, a small series like this because then you end up knowing the people who get, you know, those kinds of deals and, and everything. As opposed to like a really big game where you'll only get uh They'll do a promotion, but it'll be for some, like, triple A... It'll be for, like, a Mr. Beast out there. But it'll, it, it will always be the Mr. Beast that you don't watch. I'll, I know Mr. Beast isn't, like, a video game streamer. I'm just a big name. A small few that get all the opportunities. By being the biggest. As opposed to just, you know... The dedicated few streaming these shitty games. They're not shitty. I love trials. Even if I'm not very good at them. I do wonder when or if we might get another one. Because the last one was, I believe, 2019 was Trials Rising? Maybe it was later. Maybe it was in the 2020s. This was like 2009. So it wasn't quite 2010. Why am I struggling with this so bad? This is an easier bunny hop than last one I did. 
Actually, I don't remember when Trials of the Blood Dragon was. I think it was, uh... I think it was between this game and Trials Rising. Which, that's, again, probably the one Trials game that I'll never play because, uh... It's a spin-off of a spin-off. Not only have I never played Far Cry Blood Dragon or whatever it was, I've never even played a Far Cry game, so... That entry is wasted on me. That one has a story with, like, uh, cutscenes and everything, like animated cutscenes. But it's very tongue-in-cheek, like, parody-ish. As, I, I guess, Blood Dragon is. The whole tone of the game is like Arm Armstrong from Metal Gear Revengeance, but without any of the irony or self-awareness. This level's making me feel bad at myself. Bad about myself. What a stark difference between this and the previous stream, where I just breeze through, like, everything. The difference between medium levels and hard levels. Okay, so what if I start by leaning forward, and then back, and then forward again? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, okay, that was it, but I need to make a second jump immediately after. There's a threshold in Trials where I can no longer just kind of muscle memory through things. And I have to start, like, actively theory crafting about how I'm going to approach each obstacle. We have reached that threshold. Oh, uh, that was almost it. Okay, so I gotta lean back more on the ramp up in order to gain more speed without the, the front wheel dragging me down. Maybe. Yep, okay, that worked. And there's another jump onto it onto a ramp up here. Not that bad. Is it the end? Wow, that sucked. I got bronze, but I was... What was that? Like a hunt? That was 140 faults. Yeah, I think I can do that in just 16 faults. Easy. And that's just for silver. Expedition. How bad is this one going to be? Uh, Roach Pit Viper. There's still one we haven't even unlocked. I wonder where we get the uh, one we get the rabbit. You may be away sometime. Is this gonna be like one of those really long levels? Warning: signs of altitude sickness include nausea, vomiting, and rigor mortis. What's back here? Obviously, I'm not going for, like, all secrets in this game. But, Penguin. Hello. I have lost control of my rider. I cannot ride anymore. Okay. Well, that was interesting. Am I supposed to chase him, I guess? I might have just ruined it by faulting. You might have to do it faultless. That is probably related to, like, a challenge or something. Follow the penguin. Please refrain from using the retry 
Okay, so now there's like a story element of, of like the rider being cloned and revived between runs. I guess. This game is weird. Bridge constructor trials when it'll be like the uh, the stunts one. You build the bridges and then you have to uh, trials across them. I stopped following that series. I uh, I think the the last one that I'm aware of that they did was like a Walking Dead bridge constructor. And I didn't, I didn't buy or play that one. I think that was after Portal, which I did enjoy. I did enjoy Bridge Constructor Portal. I don't think Nick is going to be able to do these levels. I think Wicker's gonna hit a cutoff point when he gets to hard. Maybe. Maybe he'll be, like, gifted. Maybe he'll be, like, way better at the game than I am. I, uh... I donated this game to, uh, to my friend Wickersham Leader. So he'll probably do a stream of it at some point, but uh, I don't expect he's going to, like, do the whole thing. And the more I think about it, the more I feel like I should have given him the, the Trials Evolution instead. Okay, here we go. Oh, That's a mean position to put that, like, the landing of that jump in. That's like, that hole is just in the right spot that they know you're gonna land. So I guess, for that penguin challenge, you probably have to activate the penguin and then, like, do the whole level faultless? That would take me so long. Alright, here we go. Here we go. FMX. My favorite level type. Which, for some reason, you're only allowed the fox bat on. I wonder why this is the dedicated, like, trick bike of the game. Again, just moving the stick in random directions. I have no, like, sense of what I'm doing or why. No, land. Okay, he, I forgot. He can't get on back on the bike if he's spinning too fast. Alright, silver medal.
that's the other thing. Like, having a, ser a attempt at a serious story doesn't really fit with the whole game's, like, irreverent vibe. Ice climb. Skill game. Okay. What is this? Do I have to use the baggie? No, I have the roach, the pit viper. And the donkey. Well, I don't know what the game is, so I guess I'll try the pit viper. Climb as high as you can. Oh, it's one of these. Trials Evolution had, uh, had this. Which the like the bike of choice in that game was uh, like a high acceleration bike. You care more about uh, high excel than high speed in in a, in a case like this. However, I don't know the bike stats because I don't think this game like shows them for some reason. This is also way more forgiving than the, the climb level in Trials Evolution. In that game, it was like almost straight up. It was just a bumpy, continuous, like 60 degree slope. This seems a lot more doable. I'm not going to do more of it, but it seems more doable. Riders of the Rustlands. Are these hard? No, these are medium. So what are... What are these? These orange ones? Are these like DLC, maybe? Well, we'll get to them. I guess I'll, I'll finish the regular levels first, and then we'll get like a breather. Cave Dweller. T cave Dweller. Hard track. I wonder if we'll ever get access to the unicorn in single player, or if that's just, uh... Or if that's gonna be, like, an exclusively multiplayer vehicle. that slope. Oh, that's hard to get speed up again on. Uh, but I need to get speed again to make the next jump. Okay, there we go. Yeah, upon reflection, I don't like this soundtrack as much as the previous game. There's not like a there's not like a, a licensed music option, is there? Video options, settings. Rider voice announcers music. No? Okay. Uh Blur had that, but uh, I guess no, this is just this is the game soundtrack. Get yourself poisoned and still complete the track. Perform a zero fault run with the baggy. Well, that's not happening. Yeah, the soundtrack is just kind of sterile. I'm not following the, the narrative here. I, I guess our AI is like a rogue AI, and, and the others aren't happy with her. Get over. Get over. Yeah! That's the cheese. That's the Trials cheese. Our AI. 
Cindy Vortex. What a disproportion. What an unnecessarily cool last name. What disproportionately cool names the characters in Jimmy Neutron had. I mean, not Cindy. Cindy's not a particu particularly cool name, but like, uh, you know, Neutron, Vortex. Maybe not Weezer. It's a fine band, I suppose, but... They sound like they should be superhero names. What is this jump? What is this jump? Alright, let's try going off easy so we can build lots of speed. Okay. Ah, uh, uh oh. Definitely got to maintain speed on this. No, 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 no. Okay, made it. And another bunny hop over an explosive up to this. Oh, I hate these. I can do them, but I don't like them. Cindy Vortex is having uh, existential crises. That's another big jump. All right. Uh. Okay. It's fine. No. No. Ah. Uh. Man. There's another one I gotta lean back to gain speed by only riding on my rear wheel. In order to make that jump at the top. But also lean forward enough that I make the jump at the end. And still die anyway because of that thing hanging up there. Okay, so I, I can't hang back at the top. Okay, we're good. Lots of things to fall in, in this level. Oh, just short. I like the idea of Cindy, the conscientious AI, being deeply curious about humans, and uh, the subject of her curiosity is this weird fucking Mad Max clown I've created. Hey, by the way, new character. He wasn't here last stream. Please. No, make it! This weird, screaming, like, jock Mad Max clown. He doesn't sound any different. He still sounds like the same jabroni he always has sounded like. Okay, so I need a very precise jump for this. There we go.
And then they also just die at the end of every level anyway, so like... Am I supposed to care about my character or not? Hey, we found a squirrel. They're really obscure in these games. I can't imagine finding all the squirrels in a Trials game. Even with a guide, it seems like it would take forever to get them. Alright, mind the gap. I'm glad that there don't seem to be Grand Prix type events in this game. I don't have to do like four of the same tracks I've already driven before. Just, you know, flawlessly. I always hated those events. Behold the future of human transportation. Is it the It from South Park? Alright, I'll bite. What's back here? Is this gonna open? Am I gonna fall in? No? Nothing. Alright, well that's kinda lame. I love doing that. I love making a gap because I balanced on my front wheel long enough. Oh no. I don't think we've ha had, like, electric hazards in a game before this one. Probably because there hasn't been electricity. This is like the this is the the part of the post apocalypse that's still I technologically advanced apparently. I d I'm just here to ride a um, ride a motorcycle. Cindy, I don't know what you, I haven't known what you're talking about all game. This stupid clown, this is me. I'm just here. I don't know what's going on. I don't really like the, uh, the technology bad motif that uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of stories tend to use. Sci-fi especially. It's surprisingly rare to have, like, optimistic sci-fi. Which is what was very special about Star Trek for a lot of people. It was a very optimistic view of the future that you just, you don't get in a lot of other works. This is two checkpoints very close together. What's this, what's this for? I don't know, I'll take it. We got another bunny hop. Oh, come on, get up. You can make it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but there's another jump I have to make immediately after. So let me back up. Lean forward. Back. Forward. Back. Forward. Get up. Get on up. Okay. I think I got a number of achievements in. I think Worms World Party Remastered has achievements. Which is cool for me. It's cool to have one of those era of Worms games have uh, have achievements that I can go for. For, like, single player. I might go for those on Steam. Uh-oh. Unnecessary ramps. I don't think Worms Armageddon on Steam has achievements. I wish that one of the versions of, Mo of Roller Coaster Tycoon did. Because I would love to, uh... I would love to have, like, uh, achievements for that game. But there's, like, two or three versions of Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 on Steam. And none of them have achievements. So I don't know why they exist. 
I don't know why that game needs so many versions. I mainly just like achievements as a way of saying that, uh, you know, I've completed a game. I've beaten it. Here's proof. There you go. Not that anyone cares or will ask ever. They never will, but, you know, if they did, I could flex on them with, with my F0GX proof of completion, which I don't have because I completed that game. Like, before achievements, before retro achievements, so now I gotta do it again. Oh no, no, no. Ah. This kind of reminds me of the uh, Tony Hawk Mall. With the weird angular, angular sculpture. That's a series I'm not crazy about having to do over again. Because the early Tony Hawk games are just playing the same game over and over and over again. You just play the same career mode like 30 times. Is Tony Hawk like 1, 2, and 3? Some people miss that. Some people think those were the, uh, the peak of, to of the Tony Hawk games and then when Tony Hawk 4 came around and had a more, like, modern style of campaign, they didn't like it. I loved it because it was just a whole lot more unified. And you didn't have to do the same thing over and over again with multiple characters in Tony Hawk 4. Underground I was less crazy about because A, that added walking, which I'm not a fan of, and it also... Like, the humor of the games got a lot more juvenile in Underground 1 and 2. We'll get to the seventh game, eventually. Uh, I think it's uh, American Wasteland is the seventh one. So we will do that, but uh, the next Tony Hawk game on our radar is Tony Hawk 5, because we, we gotta see how just how bad that is. This is very important. I wonder how these games sell, come to think of it. Because I say that it's a it, like it's a niche series and that no one really knows about trials. Except the people who already knew about trials. It it's it doesn't seem like it has a ton of uh, like, new people that come into the series with each, with each Trials game. But I don't know that. I don't know how these games sell. And I'm kind of curious. Alright, Red Link's Derby. So these are the hard tracks. I'm just curious. I can't, uh, okay, I gotta complete the Greater Crater in order to unlock that. I'm curious if that last batch is going to be, like, extreme levels. I just watch Jack play this level. Again, not our Jack, Jack Patillo, different Jack. I don't know if Jack has ever played our, our Jack has ever played one of these games or not. Ah Man, I knew that was there and I knew that's why it was there, but I just I kinda hoped that I could just bounce off it, you know, with my cranium. I wonder how different it would be if you had a Trials game where you, could, you couldn't you could die. Like, your dude's just immortal. And what I mean by that is, that never happens. You never crash. The only way to reset is to manually do it. 
I realize that would take a lot of the challenge away, so maybe it could be like, you know, Luigi mode. You know, you have you have the, the easy modes in uh, in games where Luigi plays the game for you, or you get the, the, the super suit. They could do that. They could have a no crash mode, and that would get, uh, that could make trials more accessible for uh, players that aren't as gamer as me with my 13 faults. Hello, Heinze. How you doing? I don't know if you've been to the channel before, but I'm Zalrog. Hello. Usually I stream with my buddy Jack, but he is uh, incapacitated at the moment without a computer, so... I've been doing solo streams this past couple weeks. Mm, yeah, front wheel. Make it. Oh, I gotta go on two wheels. Okay. Huh? Is this one of them warp zones they talk about? Wait, no. Huh? I thought I did it. Hold on, let me try that again, because now I'm curious. Uh... Oh, no, it's not a warp zone. It's, it's some death animation of some kind. Alright, there's just, like, anti-gravity devices here, or something. Go. Ah! It's really generous with some checkpoints, and really stingy with others. Oh, I can't go that fast. What a nice story it was that uh, Toys for Bob was able to go independent and not be under Activision thumb, Activision's thumb anymore. Boy, I would love for Red Links to do that and not be, like, beholden to Ubisoft. Ubisoft. I guess. Maybe the games would have to, like, scale back if they were not beholden to, to Ubisoft. But maybe that's fine, too. I'm of the opinion that I would like many games to be scaled back. I don't, I don't think we need all these, like, huge, sweeping AAA titles that we were getting. Even the ones people like. I, I, I think the Zelda games have gotten too big. I think Mario Odyssey was too big. I liked it, but I don't want to ever play it again, because it's, it's too big. It's too much to do. Scale it back. Probably an unpopular opinion. But also, like, logically, games just can't keep getting bigger forever. There has to be, like, a, a limit, a plateau. So I'm curious when we're going to, uh, when we're going to reach that, and devs are going to stop necessarily thinking that bigger is better in every scenario. Oh! Okay, gotta go slow. Little counterintuitive for trials, but okay. What are we doing now? We're leaning forward, accelerating slowly, just like that. I like this level. This is one of the more fun levels on this stream. It's just like uh, like a like an evil Knievel op obstacle course. Get up. Get over. Yeah. 
That's my favorite technique, the stupid front wheel bounce. No! I'm not gonna do that! Hey, now do it faultless! Jungle Gymkhana. reading Discord for a moment there. I may continue that aforementioned Archipelago run with friends later today, but, uh, depends. Okay, what, what do you want me to do? You want me to wait? This is also counterintuitive to trials. You don't generally start a level by waiting. Which I'm sure you're not required to. I'm sure that you, like, like the pros one-cycle that, but I'm not gonna. Something, something fell from the sky? Is that what happened? Okay, so they're... I'm extrapolating. This is one of those stories where, like, technology had advanced. Man and AI lived in, lived in harmony. And then the nukes fell, and now only the robots are left. Or maybe it was the Lich. Yeah, prob probably the Lich. It was, it was the Lich bomb that caused all this. This is actually in the same world as Adventure Time. That's a show where, like, the lore is, frankly, a better experience than actually watching it. Not that it's bad. But it's also ten seasons. And there's a lot of, like... There's a lot of episodes that kind of don't contribute to, like, the story or anything. Which, again, is not inherently bad, but, uh... There's a lot of parts of that show that I don't like, that I have to wade through to get the parts that I do like. Is the best way that I can phrase that. Oh yeah, baby, you and me. We're gonna make things happen. You and Freak Clown, gonna get freaky. This is like one of those, uh, this is like one of those RPGs where you just completely, you break the character creator and you make something completely stupid. But no one in the game acknowledges that you look completely stupid. No, no. Death. Okay, I need to build speed on that. I cannot slow down. But if I start from the bottom... I should have enough by the time I get to the top. Alright, slowly build up. Here we go. Oh, still not enough. There we go. is also an interesting level. I kind of like this one. I like it better than some of the levels we had in the previous world, to be honest.
this weird generic dubstep motorcycle clown is not a fan. This is my character, Sourtooth. He has no relation to the clown that you're thinking of. Alright. One more level down. And I got, uh, I got Jujude. Sourtooth is now in the world of Tack. Polar Accelerator. Okay, so this is FMX. We're down to, uh... How many do I need for this? Uh... Huh. Earn a metal tally of 110. Alright. So if I get a silver on one of these two, or if I bump up a previous bronze to a silver, I'll be good. Again, I'm surprised you're not allowed to use the donkey for the stunt races. Just because that is the type of bike that you would normally use for stunts in real life. I, I forgot that this was an FMX map for a second. Great. Wait, I got gold? That was gold? Alright. I'll take it. It really shows, like, how little skill is required for these FMX tracks. You can just be a moron like me and press buttons and succeed, apparently. I'm sorry, that was probably really insulting if you're someone who struggles on those levels. Uh, why is it... Okay, so I'm wondering if it starts me in the baggy, if that's because there's, like, a challenge for me to do? No, this is a skill game. This doesn't have baggies, or doesn't have challenges. The front wheel is loose. Wheelie as far as possible. Oh, boy. All right, did I do good? <laughs> That's worth a bronze. I don't really like this kind of a uh, this kind of this kind of level, but I'm going to give it an honest try. I want to get one good run before I give up. All right, 218 feet. That's still not silver, though. Wow, you gotta go a long ways just for silver. There must be, like, a, a trick to this that I'm not getting. Alright. Uh, the Greater Crater. Final of the Experts Club. Warp zone on this level. Yeah. 
Clowns? I think, yeah, I think he means clowns. I hope the audio on everything is okay. I keep seeing people, like, uh, come and go. I don't know if that's because something's wrong with the stream, or I, maybe they just don't like that I'm not the, uh, you know, using a webcam and, and throwing bits and, and calling out, you know, subs all the time and everything. I try to call out subs if I see them. I don't really get the the normal Twitch experience, I suppose. I stream this way because this is the, the type of streamers that I like to watch, but I, I think I'm, like, the weird one. I think most people like the... I guess most people like, you know, having the webcams and all the stuff on screen and everything. I don't really care for it. I think it's distracting, but... I don't like this- I don't like this jump, either. This jump kinda sucks. Maybe I can, like, get into position and then accelerate. Maybe that's what I can do to, uh, build up some speed here. I guess in some ways it's just what people are used to. Like, I like this because this is how... Well, it's how Vine Sauce does it, for one. But, uh... It's also how, like, the old Let's Plays tended to be. Just the game and a voice. Nothing too fancy. Come on, clown. You can do it. Maybe. What a deceptively difficult jump that was. That did not look like it should be a challenge. I'm also worried that I just I talk too much sometimes, or that my voice is annoying. I don't know. I don't know what people like. I just do this for fun. And if you're here with me, then hello. Thank you for being here with me. Come on, clown. You can do it. Yeah. Oh, we got another bunny hop. Love these. That was a joke. I hate these. Oh, okay. Well, too late. Should have spoke up earlier. I, I guess we are going down there. I guess that's where the track is leading us to. We're, we're not just a motorcycle rider, we're an investigator. You know what this is? This is like... This is like every episode of Sailor Moon, where there's like... She doesn't have any particular, like, there's no bat symbol in the sky. She has nothing, like, guiding her to the bad guys or anything. She just stumbles into the evil plot every single episode without fail. That's me. I'm just a fucking clown on a motorcycle going around having fun, and this AI is having, like, a doomsday plot around me. I don't care about the fate of humanity. I just care about learning bunny hops. I'm not even a human. I'm a clown. Okay, come on. Oh, what is this? This is one of those really demanding parts. lean forward, then back, and then forward, and that's the first jump, but then I gotta do something else immediately after that. Okay, I'm gonna 
back up. I'm going to do another bunny hop. And I'm still, got, still not going to make it. Maybe that's the plan. Maybe I just I back up a little bit, get even more speed. I'm just slam my face into the turbine. If this is like a new reconstituted clown every time, then uh, all of these turbines should be like smeared with makeup from all of the previous deaths. That's just world building. There's a lot we're getting here about how, like, uh, humanity was, was doomed, and now they're they're reconstituting people, I guess, to ride motorcycles. That's the more interesting part of Trials lore that we're not getting, if you ask me. Like, never mind the, the AI war or the nukes or whatever all this was. I want to know why everything in this world apparently revolves around motorcycles. Put that in the story. Okay. Hey, we got the we got the rabbit. And we also got access to platinums, which I'm not going to be getting. And we have the Master's Gauntlet, which I guess we're attempting this stream. Oh, that's it. That's the credits. Well... I bet Nick could get this far, if he really put his mind to it. I, I bet most people with, like, considerable effort could, uh, could get the, the credits of this game, so that's fine. The next tracks are not going to be tracks that most people could do, I'm sure. Go and skip that. I don't think they're doing anything fa anything fancy with the credits. 25 faults for silver. Alright. All this will probably be next stream. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Since we're, let, let's just do these in order. I will dare attempt the extreme tracks. Rabbit, super lightweight and flexible, low in power, but high in possibilities. Are there more tracks? Are, are there more vehicles? Or are these like, maybe if I bought DLC there'd be more? Maybe that's how it works? Anyway, we don't have vehicle stats, so I, I don't have like a numerical representation of the difference between these vehicles. Oh, it's a it's a pedal bike. That's what the rabbit is. I see. Low in power, but high in possibilities. This looks stupid. I love it. I knew about this. I just forgot it was in the game. I wonder if every course is, like, possible on the rabbit. This seems like this would be the perfect vehicle for that, uh, that skill game where you have to climb up the slope. It doesn't actually feel bad. I kind of like how it plays. So I guess the Pit Viper is the is like the fastest motorcycle, other than maybe the Unicorn, Unicorn, which is not a motorcycle; it's a unicorn. But
I haven't seen a I haven't seen Darien pop in today. I was kind of hoping he would. I had a question for him. All right, let me back up and get some speed again. Or not. I cannot make that second jump. Until I say that I can't make it, then I can make it. Oh! I missed the third one. This is a sequence. We're not anywhere near Inferno difficulty yet, but... This is a rather demanding sequence of three jumps. Alright, bunny hop. I'm gonna wheelie to maintain speed, and I'm gonna lose speed. I'm not fully understanding what I did differently the times that I maintained enough speed to make this second jump. I wonder how difficult this would be on a delay. I know uh, Wickersham has mentioned that he streams, at least when he's using a capture card, he streams on a slight delay. Which sounds awful already for Smash Brothers, but... Uh, you know, it's really hard to... Uh, I've seen this multiple times. For some reason, it's really, really hard to convince someone who's streaming with one monitor how completely game-changing it is to have two monitors for streaming. It's one of those things where once you do it once, you, you can never go back. As I'm pretty sure both Vinny and Joel have said the same thing. Oh, come on, I'm just short every time. 44 faults. Are we gonna... Now, here's the question. Are we going to hit max time or max faults on any of these levels like we did for some of those in the pre... in Trials Evolution? We did finish them. We, we left no level in Trials Evolution unfinished. But we did hit the max value a couple times. Okay. No, I made it, but... The problem was I tried to, like, slow down and regain my footing, and I don't think I can do that. Because I can't stop that fast. Unless I, like, dead stop because I, I, like, land badly like that just happened there. back wheel leaves the ground and I fall in anyway. This bike is so like lightweight that it's really easy to uh, to jostle it just by leaning. I'm noticing that about it. Sixty-two. We're at the fun part of the trial stream. Okay. Oh, no! I leaned back too much.
Okay, gain my footing. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, I leaned forward too much again. Okay. I wonder if it's more finicky than usual on this bike. Well, I, I know it is, the leaning, just because of the of the weight. I don't know why I even pose that as a question. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't like that. I have a thing that I need to get over at the very top of the slope. I've done this before. I can do it. I don't like it, though. frustrated marge noises over this uh, motorcycle game that I'm attempting to do without a motorcycle. I don't feel like I'm handicapped, though. Like, despite being on a pedal bike, this doesn't feel like I'm getting less distance on jumps or anything. Like, this... It, Unironically, there's probably a lot of levels where this would be a great thing to use. I don't know if this is one of them, but... The constant thunder is not helping, either. It's just an aural bombardment of thunderclaps and, like, soulless electronic... Almost dubstep. This isn't dubstep. The other track was dubstep. Eighty-seven faults. I'm assuming the limits are still the same. Uh, Five hundred faults or thirty minutes on the course. Which we're not getting nearly that many faults that we're going to, like, run into the fault limit. We're at 10 minutes now, so it's possible we could hit the, uh, the time limit, but I really hope we don't, especially not in the very first extreme level. Oh, that's water. Oh, I have to get up that. I see. Come on, you can do it. Just ride 90 degrees straight up. We need a Trials game where the levels are designed by these, like, not human understanding AI. And they're just, not just difficult, they're just straight up impossible for a human to do. They want you to, they want you to, like, ride up 90 degree slopes and shit. You know, the gameplay wouldn't be very good, but the story, you know, I, I really want a Trials game with, with, like, deeply integrated story. And levels that are, that are metaphorical for the human condition. I don't know why I'm making fun of that. I, I actually love video games that have, like, deep and meaningful stories. Just not, not Trials. We don't need it in Trials. Uh, 
Okay, so maybe I need to maybe I need to regain speed on this ramp here. Maybe trying to do it in one go is uh, is what's messing with me. Okay, so I get on the log. I lean back. I'm gonna slowly. Yeah. There we go. Oh, oh, oh! The thunderclap was accompanied by a momentarily momentary freeze in the game. That worried me. So many spots in this game have, like, special camera angles for the deaths. It makes it really hard to tell which one might be, like, squirrel-related. Squirrel Side note, why is the thing with red lynx squirrels? Their mascot is a lynx, not a squirrel. Uh-oh, no, 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 dead. Okay, so I want to, I need to lean back to get speed up this slope. But then I have to lean forward in order to not flip backwards over myself. Which I'm continuously failing to do. The leaning, not the flipping. I'm great at the flipping. But if I lean forward too much, my back wheel leaves the ground. And I think, actually, I have to bunny hop, because if my back tire rolls up that wall, then I keep get- I get sent backwards is the problem. So this is one of those bunny hops on a steep slope that I hate. It doesn't look like it should be that difficult, but it's very difficult. Oh, wait, 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 is it- ah! That looked like it. I could try to catch my back wheel on the, uh, on the top of the cliff and do the cheese. That is always an option. That is often an option in a difficult trial scenario, but I didn't need it. I'm good. I was sufficiently gamer for this challenge. Uh, uh, oh, this is, uh, this is gonna be a sequence, isn't it? I said this in the previous Trials game. I really hope this game is not harder than Trials Evolution was, because I struggled plenty with those endgame levels already. So I wonder if these levels have any, like, narrative purpose. Or if we're finally done with that and these are just levels now. Eye of the Storm. Oh, what did I hit? Uh, 151 faults, 15 minutes. I need 35 faults and 7 minutes for silver. Thankfully I have all of these. I don't need to get a certain number of uh, a certain number more medals to unlock anything here. All right, Rock of Rages. Let's try it. Baggy not allowed. Unicorn not allowed. I'll go back to trying the Pit Viper. I am a little disappointed with the lack of uh, vehicles in this. 
not the lack of vehicles, because there's, like, different vehicle types, but... There's apparently not, like, much variety in the stats of the motorcycles. Because we only have three motorcycles. Well, four, I guess. We have the baggy, which you should basically never use. We have that middle one, which I've forgotten the name of. The roadie? That you should also probably not ever use. You got this one, which is like the default. And then you've got the donkey, which is like the joke. So it's not like the last game where you had multiple options that were valid for like end game. You just kind of get a sequence of three motorcycles and the final one is the one that you use. I guess. I say that, it doesn't feel like I'm getting, like I'm going any faster than the rabbit was. The pedal bike? Am I just gonna, am I just gonna want to use the pedal bike for everything now? I wish I could use the, uh, the ATV more often, but they're not letting me. That one at least had, like, uh, that one had power com comparable to this bike. You know what this sounds like? This sounds like Super Bunny Man music. Which is not... That's not a compliment. It's just, like, generic indie YouTube bait game music. As much as I enjoyed Super Bunny Man, that's, the soundtrack was very generic. Get up, get up. Front wheel. No. Eh. Death. I might go back to the rabbit. Not on this level, but, uh... What was that? Huh. We got like text briefly, but I didn't get didn't get to see what it was. There we go. All right. I can't imagine doing these faultless. Oh, what is this? What is this sequence? Oh no! I gotta maintain speed. Now I gotta get up that. We're back to, uh, we're back to technological zone. We left it for one level, and now we're back to, uh... We're back to, like, GLaDOS factory. Again, it's a cool new theme. I wish it was just one of many themes, and not every level in the game was Robot Factory. The scorpion felt faster than this in the in the previous game. I don't know how you would quantify that necessarily, but this is a big ask. I could stop and like regain my footing. Let me see if that helps. I don't. I lose speed doing that. I can't stop. I almost had it once. It's possible. I mean, obviously it's possible. It's a level in the game, but... Part of it is not not letting my wheel bounce because then I'm losing uh, I'm losing speed doing that. What 
what else have I been doing lately? I have been playing Blur off stream. I don't want to activate any like uh, cutscenes or anything that'll happen between streams, but uh, I have been getting some extra medals and things just to just to clear out the game. I have apparently been playing on medium difficulty. There is a difficulty setting that I didn't uh, I didn't spot, which is fine. It's not easy difficulty. There also are like uh, like PC achievements in that game that I'm probably never going to uh, probably not going to worry about because it's you know it's self-contained. I tend not to worry about doing like in-game challenges. Come on, come on! Oh, oh. I'm curious if retro achievements will ever add. PS3 or 360 stuff. Or Xbox Classic, even. Just because, I like, those already had achievements on them. Xbox 360 and PS3 was when achievements and trophies came into, you know, the console gaming market. And I would kind of like them to, just because even though, like, achievements already existed for that era, so, like, do you really call them retro? There were a lot of bad achievements on those consoles, specifically ones that were, were uh, contingent on online with other players, which you can no longer do. Because, you know, all the server servers are shut down. So it would be swell to see, like, updated achievement sets for those games that don't have the shitty achievements in them. That'd be just great. That will probably be the first thing we do with Jack's new computer, is uh, to try to get uh, Blur multi online multiplayer working. And if we can, I want to get a group together for that. We'll be doing a Blur multiplayer stream. And we'll be doing a Trials multiplayer stream after I'm finished with this game. I'm hoping I can finish. Excuse me. I'm hoping I can finish all these extreme levels today. Because then I'll just have whatever the orange levels are. I'm curious. What are the orange levels in Trials Fusion? What is the hardest track? Ninja level 2 track creator? What? I don't know what any of these things are. I don't think anyone has ever asked the question that I am asking. I'm sure they have, but no one's answered it, apparently. Oh well. Hey, if you're one of the hand people, handful of people watching this, and you know what the what those special orange tracks are, drop me a line. Leave me a comment. Because I still don't know. Maybe I'll find out when I play them. Maybe they'll tell me, hey, these are the the, the special bonus levels or something. These aren't tied to any story. Oh no. Oh, don't do that to me! Ah! Uh, oh, that was it!
Maybe those are the maybe those are the honeymoon with Cindy levels. What was it with that weird, like, dying tone of voice that Cindy had going on toward the end of that crater level? Was I supposed to, like, interpret something from that? Was I, like, destroying the AI of the world or something? I feel like perhaps the story, the, the sequence of events was not conveyed to me effectively. It's the bouncing that kills me every time, and I don't know how to, like, make it not happen. My muscles did it once. I don't know what they did, though. Which I feel like is the case often in this game. When you succeed, you don't know how you did it. And you can't replicate it. almost hit the I almost hit the reset level button by accident. I almost made the big boo boo. I'm hoping it doesn't happen at any point in this game. But it still could. Also, I definitely I there's no way I can get enough speed if I stop on this. Ah. Uh, just give it to me. You dick. Man. Maybe it's because I'm leaning forward? But if I, I can't lean back or I'll just fall on my clown butt. It's a very, very specific sequence of mo motions I apparently have to do to avoid bouncing when I land on this. And I don't know what they are. I also can't just, like, stop accelerating for a moment, because then I, uh... Then that happens, and I have to, like, try to get up to speed from nothing on this platform, and I don't have enough distance to do that. Maybe it's technically possible, but I every time I've tried, I come up, like, completely short. Let me, let me try again here. Let me get as low as I reasonably can, and then full gun it. I bounced. I still bounced somehow. end up being. Blur was nuts. Blur was awful on the frame rate, on the, uh, the, the bit rate, rather. That one blur stream I did was a 150 gigabyte video file. Hello, Ice Cold Wind. Well, you, you must be a Trials fan because you recognize this level on site. It's going badly. I am really struggling with this particular jump. I would like to finish all the expert courses before the streams end. That, that's my goal. I've come so close so many times. But then I end up here.
how long is the stream then? Uh, as long as it takes, I guess. I, I saw Inferno 4 on the list, and I'm a little worried about that. I finished Trials Evolution recently, and Inferno 3 had to be its own video. So it is conceivable that I, I will not hit my goal, and I will have to, uh... I might have to do another stream with the, the other extreme levels. I've been going a little under two hours, though, so I still got, uh, I still got life in me. Maybe it's possible to, to do it from that ramp. I haven't had any, like, luck doing it so far. All right, let's tr let's let's try getting our uh, just getting our footing here. <sighs> the problem is that I have to wheelie on my way up in order to build enough speed. And I have not consistently been good at, good at that. But maybe maybe making the attempt will be more consistent than continuing to bounce off of this second jump, at least. Man, I bet if I was using the rabbit, I would have made it by now. Nope, too much wheelie. This is only the second extreme level, too. Maybe I was indeed optimistic with the number of levels that I would clear. What did you think of EVO? The fighting game event? I don't know, I, I don't watch EVO. What, what was there? Oh, Trials Evolution. Okay. Uh... I recently gifted a friend of mine this game because I figured if there was one Trials game to play, it would be this one. Would be the best introduction. I'm kind of second-guessing that. Not because of this particular level, but, uh... I don't know, the, the story in this game is kind of goofy. The level variety is a little lacking compared to uh, Evolution. I'm thinking if I were to go back, then if I were to recommend one person, one Trials game to someone who's never played a Trials game, it would probably be Evolution. I did complete it. I did ever I completed every level in Trials Evolution. Which I did not do for the previous game, Trials 2. Mostly because it was not it, it was not controller it was not uh, controller compatible. And I couldn't find a good workaround for that fact. I think I uh I did play... I played Trials 1 and 2. I've streamed every game up to this point. But, uh, I did... I did not complete, like, two levels of Trials 2. Yeah, I'm still not having luck trying to... like, stop and gain footing on this ramp. I seem to have a better time of it, just doing it continuously. But I gotta get a run where I don't bounce like I keep doing. What about you? What is your uh, what is your favorite Trials game? I also don't love the UI in this game. 
and I even less like the UI in Trials Rising. I, they've gotten a lot more like modern and complicated and like microtransaction-y. And I would like for them to be simplified again, but I don't know if that's going to happen as long as uh, Ubisoft is uh, pulling the strings. Yes, 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 no! Ah! I'm going to make it at, like, 400 attempts, and then I'm going to hit another obstacle that's going to eat up my final 100. Actually, that's not true. We're we're definitely gonna hit the uh, the time limit before the uh, the false limit. In this case, please, please. And I can't even really, like, ride up the wall. Because what do I do after that? Fusion and Evolution, I think, are better than Rising. Yeah. I like the introduction of more vehicle types in this game. But the counterpoint is there's there's not really any variety in the motorcycles themselves. You, there's not stats in this game like there were in the Evolution. Also, I'm not a big fan of the, uh, the trick system. I've gotten gold on a bunch of the FMX levels just by kind of pressing buttons. Feels a little tacked on. Are we reaching the point where now I'm just going to get continuously worse? There was a bounce on that one. For new players, rising is best, I think. You think so? Yes! Okay. Hated that. That was awful. I think new players would be turned off by the, uh, by all the, like, the microtransaction stuff and the convoluted UI and everything in Rising. I guess there's the fact that it's the only one that still has the servers online and user content, which is, you know, very much by design, because Ubisoft wants everyone to be playing that one. servers work for fusion? What do you mean? I'm pretty sure they don't. They shut down all the previous Trials games. I've This whole playthrough, I've not had any, like, any user-created content on the menu able to load. Okay, that counted. I am happy that that counted. Oh boy, here's another jump. I'm assuming I can't go down here. No, I cannot go down here. Wait, so what, is this, what does this want me to do? I gotta jump this and then go all the way up there? Oh god. I have seven minutes left, assuming that the limit is still 30 minutes like it was in 
evolution. I'm not even close. Is there something I'm fundamentally missing? Am I just not getting the I'm not getting the bounce necessary? Maybe it's because I'm wheeling. Maybe I need to land with both tires in order to like bounce better. Uh, oh, I bounced a little bit better with both tires touching the ground. So I, I need to do that at the same time. Even if I don't get as much speed back as I do from wheeling. Ugh, this is rough. I don't like this. Five minutes. Maybe even four streams was optimistic for this game. Hey, question. What are the what are the batch of orange levels in this game? Like what sets those apart from the regular ones? Do you know what like them being orange signifies? I thought I was making, like, better distance with a bounce, but now it doesn't seem to be, like, happening. Batch or orange, do you mean the emission tracks? I, I don't know. What are emission tracks? There's the bunch of, like, there's the bunch of blue, tr there's a bunch of blue, like, worlds on the on the course select and then there's a bunch of orange ones after that I'm pretty sure these levels have to be possible on the bikes that you're allowed to select Which, my assumption was that this was the fastest bike, so I... Must be doing something wrong. Can you show me what you're talking about? I can after this level, which we have three minutes left on. Ugh. That was the closest so far, and it still was not very close. There's not, like, a jump button or anything, is there? I can't, like, oomph my rider? I'll do a bigger bunny hop. I 
I don't think I have enough time to, uh... I don't think that's enough platform space to, like, reset myself and then get enough speed. Like, I, it has to be one continuous. I don't think that's gonna work. But I'm having the same problem where I bounce after this jump. And that's eating up a lot of my speed. Maybe there's a way that I can, like, land my tire more smoothly? Oh, oh, oh! Face. Well, I finally got the verticality. This is just the first Trials game I'm just plain not able to beat. What if I just hit, like... What if I hit 30 minutes on every extreme level, and that's just it? I don't like to admit that that's a possibility. Rock of Rages, indeed. Epic fail. That's still on the game. Did not say that in the previous game as well? Uh, these are what I'm talking about. What are these? Because obviously this is the game's normal campaign. Experts Club was like the last normal batch. And then there's just all these, and they start from medium. And I don't know what they are. Because I don't own any DLC or anything. How bad do they get? Medium, medium, hard, extreme. Okay, so... This is DLC content? I didn't buy any DLC for this game. Maybe I got, like, uh... Maybe I got, like, some, like... Premium bundle or something? Well, I'm, I guess I must have if I have the unicorn. Okay, so I guess each of these is, is a self-contained thing, because the levels range from easy all the way up to expert. All the way up to extreme on each of these. Let me try one more of these levels. I guess. I, if, I, I will dare attempt Light City Run. And then we'll pro- I guess we'll- With as hard as these levels are, this is probably gonna be, like, one more whole stream of just this batch of levels. Let me try the rabbit. What, uh... What bike do you like? Ice cold. Well, I don't think I have all the DLC, because there's these that are still out now. And it takes me to, like, a store page. So, I, I don't have these two. You know what? Let me try that again on the... Let me try Rock of Rages one more time on the rabbit. It does not... The rabbit does not reverse well. Rabbit will make that gap harder. All right. Well, you think? Do you think I was using the best bike for it then? The 
It was not the scorpion, that was last game. The pit viper. I guess there's the donkey, but that... The donkey always just sounds incredibly difficult to use. I could try the roach. It advertises a mammoth engine, but it sure doesn't feel like a mammoth engine. Best bike pit viper. So there's nothing I can do that can make that easier. Just gotta get good, I guess. Alright, well, in that case... I don't, I don't want to do the same track on the same bike. I'll take a crack at Light City Run. And then I'll save the rest for uh, the, a, another stream. Starting with an immediately difficult bunny hop. Oh, oh no. A bunny hop followed by this. Which, what do they even want me to do here? Are, are they actually expecting me to do the the rear the rear wheel catch? I don't think I've ever seen a trials level uh, expect that. It always feels like something you're not supposed to do. There is a first time for everything, though. I don't think that's the case here because I have the, uh, like, if I try to roll forward, I smack my head on the, uh, on the billboard. thinking maybe I'm supposed to like roll up and then roll up the wall a little bit but if I do that if I do that I go straight up in which case I guess then I could catch my rear wheel Rear grab called Fender. Interesting. I wasn't aware there was a uh, there was a proper name for it. It's not like I considered it cheating or anything. I just I don't think prior to this there has been a case of the uh, the level being built in such a way that it expects you to do that. in the trial series. Maybe that is what it, what it's expecting here. In which case I would have to roll up the wall a little bit. Oh wait, no. I did something briefly there where I was able to ride up the wall a little bit and still lean forward. Ah. Oh. Okay, it's bad enough getting over that. Then there's a then there's a hop right afterwards.
Do you know the game mechanic called flapping? I don't believe so. What What is flapping? Aw, oh, man. Hold gas down and spam the brake button. It creates rotational force. Does that work in the air? Interesting. No, I was not familiar with that. That's very helpful. If this is going to be every extreme level, I, I don't know, maybe I won't be able to complete these. I'd sure like to try. So far it feels like I'm having more trouble with these than I had with the hardest levels in... Uh, I'm having as much trouble with these as I had for the hardest levels in uh, Trials Evo. In which case, like, each one of these levels could be its own self-contained video that could be, like, an hour or more. But we'll see. Maybe I'm overselling them. Maybe maybe, maybe it is possible with, uh... Did you try flapping? I did, yes. I was not aware of that. It does seem helpful. It is not what got me past that obstacle, but, uh... I was attempting it. Man, I almost had this one within like three tries, and now I can't replicate it. Gotta let a death play out every now and then. Using the button for brake versus trigger the input faster. Huh? I heard... I did see your description of flapping. I understand it. Unless, like, my gameplay is demonstrating that I clearly don't understand it. Okay, use the button rather than the trigger. I see. I understand what you're saying. It's not proving helpful at the moment. Okay, there we go. Also, my com what is my computer doing that it's, like, struggling to run this game briefly?
All right, can I have a s steady incline here? I say, and then fail to do so. This level's rough, but so far it also doesn't feel as bad as, as Rock of Rages. Which they probably knew that level was going to be bad when they called it Rock of Rages. doing it. I'm flapping. I'm not getting the, the desired forward momentum, sadly. Uh. Okay, so maybe I want to, I want to, like, land up here. Maybe that's the plan. Not spamming the brake button, also you need to be on your front wheel when doing it. Okay. Come on, come on. Oh, give it to me, come on! Lean forward, lean forward. Too soon. By spam, I mean hit it like 10 to 20 times. I know that, but I can't, like... I can't lean too far forward in this particular situation because the, the following ramp is at a similar angle. so far. 12 minutes. This level, we're getting a lot closer to the the faults and the time both matching. If I can reset myself on that ledge, so far I keep, I keep falling backwards. I don't think I'm going to be able to stop any. I shouldn't have stopped gassing. Please, 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 please. Okay. Man. I got through Trials Evolution without having to learn tech. We're in a new world now. It's 
So like evolution is right. I, I imagine a bunch of people came on for Trials HD on the 360, and then evolution is when the like the player base really blew up, and all the really really good players crawled out of the woodworks. And that's why we now have levels like these. That's my guess as to the Trials continuity. Well, hopefully flapping will help me on that stupid, that, that rock jump that I was struggling with on Rock of Rages. That's a series we only did one stream of. We only streamed Rock of Ages 2. And I played Rock of Ages 3 on my own. It was fun. I kind of regret not streaming it. Have you never seen a ninja track? No? My exposure to custom Trials content is Achievement Hunter. So I've seen, like, Trials files... I haven't delved that deep into the... I haven't been a part of the Trials uh, community, I should say. So if you've, like, been doing this your entire life, I, I cannot compare. I, I don't have that, that field of experience. Bouncing. I keep bouncing on the third part, and that keeps killing me. Is that, like, a particular type of, like, difficult custom track? Ninja difficulty is harder than extreme. Are they in the base games? Or are these like user level stuff? Do they require like a bunch of platinums to unlock or something? Okay. Oh boy, what is this? I need a real bunny hop for this. And I'm not good at bunny hops. I'm not a ninja. Not even close. This is, this is gonna be the obstacle that I can't get past in this level. Just a stupid hop. Trials Rising made Ninja Tracks official base game. Okay, so it was like it was invented by the community. Was it uh, was it like a tag that people could apply to their levels? Is that how that started? Okay, this won't be as bad as the rock. I'm I'm getting there. I'm just not getting the, uh, I'm not getting the necessary... I'm not getting the speed up after I make it across. This dude is so excited. Every single time he makes this jump, this clown is having the time of his life. Imagine experiencing death 300 times. 
just to make a stupid evil can evil jump that no one's even watching. Well, yeah, I imagine that it's because people got better than extreme levels would demand, but I'm asking where the word ninja comes from specifically. Like, how did people start calling it that? Okay, I'll start facing forward. Leaning forward. Lean back and then forward. Twenty minutes. I'm not even getting enough, like, uh... I'm not getting enough speed on the the ending here on the on this ramp just before the checkpoint for flapping to become like an option. Just curious, have you watched any of uh, Jack Patillo as a Trials fan? I'm just asking because that's the only uh, that's the only Trials content creator that I watch. It's a comparatively niche community in the world of video games. Ah. Uh almost did it. I almost hit the reset level button by mistake. Okay. That was finally, I got the speed. That was where I needed to, uh, that was where I needed to flap. Now, what did I do to make that happen? Is it just the bounce that's getting me again? Is that what's happening? trying to like preempt it and I'm flapping way too early which is killing my speed I don't think I'm good enough for trials. I don't think this is happening. I wanted to. I really wanted to.
watch me not even be like anywhere close to the end of the level, even if I make this. I thought we still had like a full stream left before we would get to like any of the hardest levels in the game. I did not think we were going to hit them in this, this game. Definitely fewer levels not counting DLC than uh, Trials Evo. But that's also partly because Evo included, uh, well, Gold Edition included Trials HD levels. Over 400, five minutes remaining. so many other things that you could believe in that would probably net you more in life. Like Santa Claus. You probably get more out of believing in Santa Claus than you'll get about believing from me, in me in Trials. Uh, 430... Attempt a fender. See now I'm educated now. I know I know the words. But that's also contingent on like everything else before that going right. Four forty. You reset too early? Oh, you think I had it? Almost. My front wheel was not far enough forward. 50 faults left. Two and a half minutes. is going to die 500 times for nothing. And then if I bunny hop in the wrong way, I bounce straight off of the, uh, the thing. I did get... I am getting a nice bigger bunny hop on some of these with appropriate wiggling. Not, not quite enough to save it, though. Less than 60 seconds. Wow. 
I don't even feel like I've gotten that close. I know I could do it eventually, but... Nope, nope, just straight off. Three. Two. And that's it. Time time was up at 499 faults. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do these levels. I may still go for it. I may still uh, make the attempt. I'm going to have to think about this because these are proving more difficult. Each of these levels I'm having as much trouble with as I had with Inferno, the hardest level in... Uh, in Trials Evolution. So, I don't know if I'm going to come back to those yet. I might, I may or may not do the DLC as well. There will be at least one more stream of uh, Trials Fusion. But, that's it for today. Thank you for hanging out, especially if this was your first stream. We uh, archive all of our stuff to YouTube, and I'll be back to this sometime within the next week or two for at least one more Trials Fusion stream. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.